Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. I was just recording a result real quick. This is quite out of left field. I did not know that Game for Thought was uh, tapping that deep into the tier list, but this is a very, very uh, widely regarded as one of the best characters in the game, but also one of the more um, skill ceiling characters. Definitely not easy to just pick up and use. So Puff got a lot of changes to, uh, to her kit. Particularly the down air and the pound, uh, much scarier now and gets a lot more confirms. So he's out of the range for it right now, but could come into factor later, especially with platforms. Can I get Balde versus King? Balde versus King, please. Ah, as I look back, Game for Thought gets the Thunder. Obviously, Jigglypuff paper thin, so he's gonna take that death at like 60 ish. Oh! Ellie kinda had the read there. I don't know how strong Jigs' up smash is raw, but could have killed. Pikachu is not the heaviest character. Oh, he missed a rest? Oh, I see. Ooh! Okay, good discipline by uh, by Q, not, not lowering shield. Oh, but gets punted in the back of the neck for that one. Let's see what Ellie's got here. This is where the... Kill confirms might come into play here. Open station, can I get small left versus D? Oh, at least uh, hanging in there. But he is approaching Danger Zone, where Pikachu's errant hits might start killing. Oh, that's unsafe. Pikachu's back air actually notorious for pancaking under hitboxes and punishes, but uh, not there. Thunder, no go. Another roll through. Oh, Ellie trying so hard to read him there. Oh, catches him hugging himself. The whiff grab. Ellie spaced that on shield. And uh, Q thought that there was a grab chance there, but he was too far away. It's increasingly harder to punish things uh, that are spaced with shield grab now. Not only is uh, the shield take longer to drop because of the changes, but a lot of characters just have really, really terrible grab range now. So it's always a risk to go for stuff like that, especially in the last minutes of a match where one bait could be the end. Okay, Jigglypuff again. And Q sticking with the Chew. The Q Choo. Okay, let's go. Okay, 
open station, can I get Vizet and Rogue? Vizet versus Rogue. Okay, so I... Pretty sure this is a three-stock meta. I turned turned away for like 10 seconds and they both died. Interesting. I'm gonna have to look at the replay later. If the chat could fill me in on what happened. <laughs> oh, Q retreating. Playing with the lead. That dash attack is the, the big ignorance. Really, really hard to punish. Comes out super fast. Good parry. Ellie running up, looking for some kind of flinch or overextension there. Might have been also trying to block something on reaction. Ooh, the fair train. Oh, and game for thought. Uh, messes up his recovery, and again, that's one of the things about Pikachu. Recovery can sometimes be very frustrating to maneuver. So you have to be very confident. <gasps> I think he actually went for the pound rest there. Ooh, okay. That was a pretty uh, aggressive up smash from Q. Gets the kill back. Okay. Got to work on those rest punishes. But he still has a little bit of wiggle room to work with as long as he doesn't get hit by something super strong. There it is again, that shimmy shimmy. I think Ellie was looking for another rest punish on the side B. Oh, went for the double. You're trying to go hard. No luck. Oh, that backer is going to give up stage control. That's really dangerous. <laughs> no, he read the roll. That was like a... That's kind of reminiscent of the, the games that Ellie used to have with Takuda-kun back in the day when he used to look for the roll reads. Okay, so Ellie will take back. With the buffed puff. Didn't really see the buffs come into play too much, but yeah, he tried. 